Hi, I'm Daniel Hebert, safety representative here at ASC, and today I'm going to walk you through the importance of proper ergonomics on ladders, one step at a time. Before performing any task that requires a ladder, OSHA recommends that you ask yourself the following questions. Will you need to hold on to heavy items while on the ladder? Will the job require a long ladder that may be unstable? Will you be working at elevation for an extended period of time? Will the job require you to stand on the ladder sideways? If you said yes to any of these questions, reconsider using a ladder for this task. As an alternative, use a boom lift, scissor lift, or scaffold. If after evaluating the task, you determine that you will use a ladder, here's how to set yourself up for ergonomic success. One of the most important steps for maintaining proper ergonomics on ladders is choosing both the right ladder size and ladder position. Work should be performed at arm's length. That means you do not have to twist or move in a position that causes exertion to your shoulders, back, neck, and arms. If you find that you are straining to reach what you are working on, you should change your ladder position or get a different size ladder. Now that you've chosen the right ladder for the job, let's discuss some ergonomic practices for ladder use. Three points of contact. Three points of contact means that you have either two hands and one foot or two feet and one hand on the ladder. This will give you the stability while climbing and minimize the risk of ergonomic injury by limiting your body's range of motion. Bring work close to your body. The closer we are to the work we need to perform, the easier it will be. Most people know this from everyday experience. Imagine steering your car with your arms fully extended. Not easy, right? You don't want to have to reach, bend, or twist to get to your work. Place yourself at a distance where you can have your arms slightly bent and still reach your work. Keep your body between the rails of the ladder. It is important not to reach or lean away from the ladder. This puts more weight on one side of the ladder and could risk the ladder tipping over. It is also not ergonomically safe as you are causing exertion to your neck, back, shoulders, and arms. Face your shoulders and toes in the same direction at all times. This will ensure your back is straight and that you are not twisting or pulling it in different directions. If the ladder moves while you are working from it, stop and get off. Ladders must be secure and should never move while you are working from them. If the ladder is moving, it's a sign that it is not set up correctly. Get off the ladder and readjust so that it is stable and secure. In closing, though ladders are a common tool for us at work and at home, underestimating the risks of ladders can lead to serious injuries. So, take the right steps and make ergonomic safety your priority. Thanks for joining me today, and stay safe.